Hey guys, it's Austin, and today I'm not going to be uploading a scripting tutorial, but I've been getting a lot of questions on how to change your script editor colors. And instead of taking screenshots of my studio settings, every time I get that question, I figured I'd just make a tutorial on it. Also, because a guy suggested it today. So, I'll make a new script in server script service. Uh, we'll keep that line. So, the first thing you want to do is go up to File, all the way down here to Settings. And you see all these settings with Roblox Studio. You automatically open up to the Studio tab on the right here. You want to stay on that, and then scroll down, Script Editor Colors. Uh, let me go back up here. So, we have the Background Color, Comment Color, Error Color, and all these different colors. Um, so we'll start with the background color. This changes the background of your window here. Do, 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 whatever color you want. Uh, you can press OK or cancel. I think mine was at like 33, 33, 33. Um, these are all in color 3 values. Um, the color of your comments. Hopefully, you guys know what comments are. If not, you should go back and look at one of my very first scripting tutorials. An error color, that's um, an error line color, I think. Find selection background color. Uh, what does this do? Oh, that's when you press Control F, I think, and you search for some certain text in your script. And that's the background color that um, highlights it. Keyword color, that's for things like return um, if statements function that's uh, yeah keywords deal with all that and you see I can change it here to whatever you want yeah I want to uh, I'll go back and change that later I wanted to keep it how it was. A uh, number color that's for any numbers in your script. An operator color um, that's like if one is greater than two, then the operator is this thingy here. And again, if you don't know what an operator is, you should go back and look at one of my early scripting tutorials. A preprocessor color, I don't know what that is off the top of my head. A selection background color, I have mine the same as up here. That's just when you uh, click your mouse and drag it up and down to highlight something. Um, selection color, I guess that's the color of the text when you have it selected like this, because it's white. String color, um, that's what's up here in quotation marks or apostrophes. Uh, if you guys don't know what a string is, watch one of my earlier tutorials, I explained that. A text color is just for regular text that isn't a keyword, a string, or number, or anything like that. Uh, a warning color is... let me get a warning here. Um, no, that's the error color. A warning color is... Um, equals one. I'm trying to make a global variable. Okay, never mind about that for now, I guess. Um, a warning color is basically when, say you have a blue line under something and it says global blah blah blah, whatever your variable name is, is only used in the enclosing function, consider changing it to local, or um, it'll say unknown global, your variable name. Uh, yeah, that's a warning for your script. Hmm. There's a way you could change your font as well. Ah, yeah, font. Uh, you have a lot of different font options. It's set to Courier New by default. Uh, 
said, there are a lot of weird options here. You can set the tab width, um, that's just in characters. Text wrapping is weird, I don't think you need that. Auto indent, that's just if you uh, have, uh, for example, a function or a conditional statement like if or then, you press enter to go to the next line, it'll indent it for you. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all you guys need to know to edit your script editor. Um, yeah, some setting changes will not take effect until you restart Roblox, but the script editor changes, they'll take effect right away, so no need to worry about that. Um, so I think my next scripting tutorial is going to be on how to make an intro GUI for your game. Maybe preload assets. Assets are like uh, images for your game, sounds, etc, etc. Uh, so, see you guys next time.